Hey guys, so I'm trying to teach you how to start a new account on Elvenar. This is not the first time I'm playing. As you can see, I have already have an account on an world. But now I will start in any of those new worlds so that I can get a fresh start and I will record everything that I do and I will try to explain why I'm doing certain moves so that if if let's say you are starting playing today there are a lot of things that you can do better than if you just I don't know guessing around uh, when I first played this game I made a lot of a lot of mistakes but it's hard to give away your big accounts just because you messed up in the beginning Right now I'm trying to make sure that where if you are starting to play right now you are not doing the same mistakes as, as me. So let's let's start. Uh, as you can see you can choose if you want to play with humans or elves. Let's say we choose humans. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all the same. You choose who you want to play, activate flash play player just because otherwise it will not work. Okay, we are waiting for it to load. So, uh, f first thing I will do, I will uh, shut down the music just because I want to hear what I'm saying so I will I just turn off the music and the sounds um, okay so uh, the first thing uh, let me explain so this is your main hole now uh, this is a house a residence where you have people and this is a workshop where you put your people to work the first thing you need to do is put your people to work as you can see here now the workshop start, starts working he, here is the builder's hut uh, right now we, ha we have two builders as you can see here on the top left corner uh, when you upgrade your builder's but you will get more builders 3, 4 and so on ok uh, the first thing we need to do right now is to build houses and workshop you must always remember that the missions that are here it will give you rewards so try as best as possible to complete this mission because you will get a reward right now it says have at least two residences we already have one a residence so we are gonna take one building one building and we'll place it here and now we are in in let's in nine seconds eight seconds seven seconds we'll have two residents and this mission will be complete and you it will mark as green you will see in a minute okay so this means the mission is complete when I click here I will say finish and I will get this reward here change the coin 500 coins okay finish <coughs> I got the reward and a new mission popped up have at least two workshops we already have a workshop we must build another workshop again but before we can build a workshop we need to unlock this technology because it, it isn't unlocked yet so for this we we'll, we'll must go to research it will open up a new page and we need to research it activate and now we are able to build uh, uh, one more important thing here is the knowledge points bar it fills it itself 
as as long as it 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 isn't full, it will automatically fill itself every hour. When it's full, it stops filling and it's not good for you. So right now we all, what we have to do is to consume all these knowledge points. Already already consumed three of them on workshop, and now we're gonna consume another five of them on researching the Gloria statue. Activate, and we have uh, right now we need to we need to work again on all of this. What we need to do right now is to choose if you want to go to war uh, or if you want to go to economy and build all of this. From what I discovered, it's in the beginning it's a little bit better to, to go to economy because if you if you are building army at first you lose a lot of troops and a lot of resources if you build your economy it will be easier next to build a, a bigger bigger army so we we need to get eight knowledge points so far we have only have two here and then we'll be able to unlock it let's go back here to home so when you press here to this little house here it will get you back on your city every time you see a coin on top of the building it says you can click it and then get the reward okay now we need to be build the second workshop as I told you now it's unlocked and you can build it place it here and right now in about let's see in about five seconds this mission will be also completed let's see okay this mission is complete we kick finish and we get this reward perfect okay the next mission is start beverages so it tells us to go to you see this little sign here as a sleeping sign it's the sign that sh that shows you that the workshop is not working so you need to give them work click and then click again on the first one beverages okay this start beverages we already did that so we gonna take the reward Now the next mission is have four residences. We only have two so far. We need to build another two. Uh, you must understand that every building, or no, not every, but almost every building in this game, is should be connected to this path, streets, alleys, whatever you can want to call it. But you need to to first make the footpath and then you will be able to put a building next to the footpath so this is another residence and another one and as soon as those two are ready we'll have four residences and again this mission will be completed one is done the next one will be done in a second okay another mission completed finish and we get the reward let's see what the next mission is collect coins okay so we we need to wait a little bit until a few coins will be up and ready uh, let me give you a, a little piece of advice so when you press the move button it shows you this highlighted area is everything that you can cons where you can put your buildings this right here is the new expansion blocks w when you will be able to expand your city this is a cultural building you we're gonna need a lot of those okay so the mission is collect some coins here we go we collected some coins and the mission is done let's see 
the next mission it says to have at least three workshops we only have two of them we're gonna build an another one right now remember that all those buildings can be upgraded so you can see you have the produce button and you have the upgrade button every building can be upgraded and it will be a good idea to upgrade them soon enough uh, every time you construct a building the cultural points decreases and you need to build more culture, cultural buildings okay another mission's ready let's see what's next start to upgrade to residency so uh, the next the next mission is as i told you to upgrade this building this is one upgrade and this is the second upgrade let's see how long it takes 56 one minute it, it takes to upgrade from level one to level two so in one minute we'll have this this two done okay another mission so right now it tells us to go to negotiate some encounters I will show you in a, in a second what's that all about but for now let's try to build some more buildings because it's important for all those people to work so as you can see here we have total population of Osuta Dozish 128 uh, people but only working 45 of them so we need to get people start working how do you do that uh, this this move button allows you to move a building from one place to another as you can see here I'm gonna move this building here okay and I'm gonna move this building all the way here this is one of the few buildings that doesn't require a footpath to go to it that's why I am uh, placing it here and right now what I show you I'm gonna put a building here and I'm gonna create a path from the main hall so that people can get to it as you can see here right now we are we have two ways for our city so we're gonna put all the buildings all the residences to this side and all the workshop on the other side we're gonna create another workshop and place it here and we're gonna create another workshop and place it again here right now we have no more buildings but builders but he already finished working so we can get another one so all these buildings are doing nothing right now so we must tell them to work producing beverages and again one more workshop here and one more workshop here now it looks better we have a few more workshops perfect the cult the cultural points are a little bit low so we must build a cultural So now, right now, all the workshops are working. Here we have another s a space where we can put a statue. You can put a statue here and get your cultural points up a little bit more. And here I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did here. I'm going to place another footpath. I'm gonna 
build two more residences I forgot about the footpath okie doke so we're gonna create the footpath from here to here now the buildings are connected and another cultural statue, glory statue here and now the city starts looking better and better <laughs> right now we are on the position 25,849 this is our place we'll soon be upgrading to a better place as you will see in a in a few minutes if you drag like this you can see all the surroundings of your city this all of this area should be filled with your city okay so right now let's go to the let's go to the uh, mission again and it says here to negotiate two encounters we'll go to the ma world map and right now as you can see around my city there are a few encounters that we that says are very easy you can first you must you must explore them it says here send a scout click here in four seconds the scout will be there and you can see it send another scout okay send another scout as you can see now we are discovering the world around us send another scout we'll have two more to send meanwhile until those 45 seconds will be gone let's see here we must unlock all of these three technologies they are very important marble steel and planks we need to unlock them as soon as possible a few workshops have done their job let's put them to work once again one more piece of advice when you are when when you have time and you know that you are gonna play let's say for at least half an hour more you need to be uh, choosing let's let me show you the example we have like four seconds three seconds more until this workshop has done his job okay perfect right now I will explain to you so if you have time it's better to choose those five minutes uh, jobs because you'll get a lot more supplies out of those let me explain why because every five minutes you get five supplies but if you choose this one every 15 minutes you only get 14 supplies so a little bit lower because 
here three or five it's like 15 so here you only get 14 and right here a lot less because if you calculate in one hour you can go like 12 12 five minutes jobs and five tools multiplied by 12 is like 60 and if you click this one you only get it 37 but once again if you're going to sleep it's better to use this one because it's nine hour if you're just going somewhere and you know you'll be back in one hour it's better to use this one if you will be back in like say three hours click this one and let's say if you think that the next day it's like not most uh, likely you'll not be able to play at all click one day you get as much resources as you can one day but you don't need to touch the game at all okay so let's go back here We have two more minutes to wait until we discover all of those. Negotiate one encounter and we're negotiating the second encounter. Perfect. Now this mission is completed. But we, mu we might go on and negotiate some more encounters because every time you negotiate it one encounter as you can see the knowledge bar fills by one and this is a very very nice thing because we need all the I will not be completing this and I will explain to you why I will leave one uncompleted I will get to the next one and I will try to go as much as possible to all of them but not completing them so we do have marble right now activating perfect and we right now I will go here and what I will be doing is get a marble start working we have 35 seconds more let's go again to the world map and negotiate some more encounters We are starting to lose to we don't have resources anymore so soon enough we need to get more going here now it tells us we need to upgrade the main hall let's see what the request for this is upgrade we need 3300 coins we only have 53 so we must wait a little bit longer before we'll be able to upgrade
Now let's fight. So we do have an expansion earned and now we are about to place it. So you go here to expansion you have one and you choose where do you want to put it. I will choose here because I want to expand my city like this direction. Okay and now we're gonna make some little bit of some little changes we're gonna move this building from here to here we're gonna create a longer footpath and so from here we're gonna move again the building right at the and now we're gonna move all the uh, residences in Y line, one line here. So from here to here, and this one here. And we are it. We are starting to. <laughs> it starts to look a, a little bit better. Our city, we need an, another expansion as soon as possible. There are moments when you have just have to wait, you don't have anything else to do. You just have to wait until the resources grow. Right now we don't have coins, only have 58. You just have to wait for them to grow. let's fight some more okay here you can see that there's a heavy melee heavy melee and a light melee okay we we need to choose the right this light range unit says it's good again heavy melee what's here So we're gonna be choosing two of these and three of these and we're gonna you win the fight for sure. Perfect. And again, so we have we have two heavy melee, which light range units are very good against heavy melee. So we're gonna be using only light range because they're gonna be very good against this heavy melee and again a victory and we have another type of this so heavy melee we're gonna be using four of this and for this light melee we're gonna use again good and the last one again so all heavy melee, melee all of this and we want another one perfect it says here that you need to complete one more province to get a new expansion so as soon as we're done completing another one of these we'll be uh, expanding our city even more let's see we have a f heavy melee and a heavy range unit so for this one We'll be fighting like this and we will win for sure. Ok, 
okay and again only heavy melee as I can see again we'll be using all of this perfect and again as I explained to you it's very important to see who you fight against see the type of unit and then choose the the type of units you have that are best against the units of the adversary so right here it says heavy ranged this heavy melee of mine is very good against heavy range so we're gonna be using all only that type of unit and as you can see I haven't lost a unit and won the battle perfect and again perfect heavy melee okay and the last one so we did win and we got another province expansion let's build it As you can see we're already advanced like almost a few hundreds of places because a few five ten minutes ago I said we are at 25,000 and something and right now we are 24,000. We don't have enough resources, as in coins, to build, to research this technology. We'll have to wait a little bit. So the only th thing that we can do is fight a few more fights. We need two more providence for another expansion. expansion. This is one, but we don't have another easy one, we only have a medium one.
put the men back to work start creating some beverages Okay, so for this video, let's call this part one and I will pause the video because right now I just have to wait a little bit in order to get more coins and get more work out of the man and I will came, come back with part two and show you how we can continue growing up. Stay tuned guys.